Hey guys, what's going on? So it's a kind of a ugly day here in Ohio. It's uh, kind of uh, snowing, misty rain, freezing rain, kind of all of the above. And uh, I'm out here by the lake. You guys see the lake through my... And it's just great that um, we actually have open water. Because usually here in northwest Ohio, we usually have about six inches of ice or uh, even ten inches of ice. And uh, we, we, don't, uh, we don't normally have any open water. But uh, we're also going kind of through a drought a little bit, so our lake's real low. But uh, I was just kind of thinking, you know, how many... Uh, you know we're in tournament prep mode right now and and I've, I've been prepping uh, for a while and what I've been doing is prepping my tackle get it, and I, I recently uh, got a new boat for the new 23 season and I got a uh, 21 foot 7 inch Triton and the I had a 20 foot Skeeter and I love my Skeeter absolutely love the boat and but I just got a 21 foot seven Triton, uh, TX R21, something like that. But the compartments are much deeper, and so it's almost like, man, I, I can fit more tackle. And what you know, what a what a great deal! What a great deal! Well, so in Tritons they come with, in, in a, you look in the tackle compartments, and it has where you can slide in 3,700 size plastic boxes and. Uh, so I have nine 3,700 boxes of plastic and 12 uh, boxes of those. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. The, the Gamatsu, Gamagatsu, however you guys want to say it, uh, boxes of hooks and hand-tied jigs are all in those. So, um, so I got a lot more room for tackle and... I filled it up and, and so I'm like well I guess I gotta I guess I gotta buy more tackle but now all, all kidding aside I mean geez oh Pete's I mean you could just get I mean the this this Triton's just got so much more storage in it and I don't I mean it's just really going to come in handy I'm, I'm actually prepping for the crappie master elite series and so my first tournament's in Louisiana. So a little bit of a drive for an Ohio guy uh, to the first event. I, I'm going to uh, Cross Lake, Louisiana. So i am uh, never been there, and uh, I can't get any information uh, for it. You know, it's just uh, we, we show up and we figure it out on our own. So don't anybody post on here about Cross Lake, Louisiana. But we're, we're coming to Shreveport and uh, really looking forward to... Uh, taking in the sights and sounds there and and hopefully uh come out with a with a tournament win and so but yeah so it, it's it's i'm just curious with everybody else's working on tackle packing tackle getting new boats rigged i had to had to get my new boat rigged and, and got uh uh got uh all my electronics on I'm, i got uh, a combination i've got lawrence graphs and I've got uh, I got the HDS Live 12 inch graphs, and then I've got uh, a Garmin uh, for my live scope. So uh, got that uh, all rigged up and ready to go. Got my power poles. Uh, so the boat is actually it's ready to roll. So um, I just got to finish packing, and uh, man, I'm ready to get this tournament season going. So and for me, this tournament season is coming much earlier. Uh, the tournament season around here in Ohio usually doesn't start till about April. So um, I'm just I'm just tickled to, to be able to go fishing somewhere and uh, and get some tournament stuff in so it's really a big deal that uh, uh, this elite series is, uh, is I think it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, it's gonna pose a lot of challenges and, and, and such but uh, let me know what you guys are working on you can get down in the comments and tell me what kind of what tackle or what what pictures and working with uh, the local uh, let me know what you guys are working on you can get down in the comments and tell me what kind of foot tackle or what what what's going. On. Uh, let me know what you guys are working on. 
you can get down in the comments and tell me what guy what tackle or what what what's going to look new guys on the tournament trail different guys